All right, everything is set up here. Uh, I sure miss my house and my workspace. I'm in this little apartment and it's a mess uh, trying to keep everything. But one day, one day God will have me back. Uh, all right, we got a little um, our little pirate here. Let me turn him to you. All right, now I think uh, I'm going to use a a strong. Uh, let's see, uh, there's black. I'll keep that in mind. We'll use a burnt umber. All right, here's a dark brown. I can use it for the shoe. Right now. Let's use that for the shoe. How's that sound, okay? Now let's uh, figure out the pants. To me, I, I feel a gray would be a a good one for the pants. It's not a difficult carving to paint. I dip my pants. They wouldn't be dressed what you would call extremely. It wouldn't be very now let me get up underneath this right next to this wooden leg kind of my hand gets in the way I apologize Let's see. Come up underneath here on the on the wood leg. And there's my pants, okay? As I said, he would not have a very uh, unique uh, pants that he would be wearing. It would be kind of dungy, dingy, dirty, such a way. Now, the next thing is my shirt. Okay? Now, what can I use for the shirt? Uh, I think I want to use the shirt a dark, this is a rust red it's called, it's a kind of a drab red. And I'm going to really uh, water it down, and I'm going to put it on him. I may have to give several coats to him on this, I know I will. In fact, that's way too. Let me come a little bit more 
in the, in the realm of red. Hard trying to show you how it's done. back over the gray a little bit in here. Alright, so we got the a red shirt. Sort of a reddish shirt and then the little cap will also be red, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'll be careful. Now that's going to be red, and I'll show you what I'm going to do to it. Now next, uh, we got to choose a hair color, which probably just a brown would be good. And the hair color. Mix it. We touch it real lightly with the water. If we have to go over it several times, we can go over it several times. We just touch it lightly with the brown to give it that look. It doesn't have to be strong. On this side, you want to come with the same thing. A bit darker. And there's our hair. That's a little saucer I'm using, just basically it's a little saucer that I'm using. Let's, uh, let's go ahead with our flesh tone. Let's go ahead and get, get the hand on the side here. Get a little ah okay and let's go with a little flesh tone and right here underneath the 
and we're gonna put a, a, a shade beard on him all that basically though you have to really let this dry to let that dry good just like the wash that I go over it with a little uh, Now, the um, you get the brown here again because the cigar would be a brown color. And touch it with the brown. Touch it with the brown. Touch it with the brown. Touch it again. And again. All right, and let that dry just a little bit. Okay, now on I have a silver somewhere that I can use for my sword. You see where there it is. Although I'm not really crazy about this silver, it's okay. What we're going to do, and then kind of come back over it with a little bit of a black. You let this dry real good, and you come over it with a little bit of a black. Two. Throw it. Now, the last thing we're going to do is, of course, do the peg leg which would also be a uh, a brown but I'm going to go ahead and go with umber if I can find it here I know it's here somewhere there it is burnt no that's black I'm sorry there it is I think that's the burnt umber a little bit stronger type of uh, thing I want to take it I want to mix it up so and I, then I'm gonna go over the whole thing with a brown wash so Okay, and the, the brown will add to it as I uh, continue it. Now on that, uh, where's my black, there it is. On the cigar, it looks like it's dried enough. You take the black and you just hit the tip of the cigar just like this and there you go looks like it's lit and if you want to add a little touch of red you can add that in other words uh, where's the uh, just a touch of red you want to just add a touch there we go. Do that with a toothpick if you want. So small. 
All right. Now he's basically painted. He is. Uh, next, I go over the. Uh, let's see if I've got all the. Yes. I'll go over him with a the face over with a reddish uh, the the red uh, the one I just used for the thing. Now I want to show you what I want to do here. Let me grab a toothpick. Now let me get my white right here, sort of an olive white. And you lightly take the toothpick and you dip it in there. And I'm just going to go over with spots. White spot here. White. 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 White, white. White up here. White here. One here. One back here. You look at it. Go around and we only have one right here. That looks pretty good. And have it spotted is what I'm doing. I want to go one right there, one right there in the back. And you have to let that those all dry. I'm just gonna put one right there. No, you have to let that dry real good before you do a wash over it. It gives him kind of a polka dot type shawl over his head I might let me see that shirt I wanna oh I'm sorry I wanna go once more over that shirt with that red there it is I didn't quite get it what I wanted I want it a little bit deeper. Oh. There's some places here. I want to darken just a little bit. A bit stronger, okay. All right, now I'm gonna let this thing dry. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry, and then I'll do my wash over the face, and I will do my. Uh, then I'll after that I do a brown wash over the whole thing. All right, and then I'll I'll do a. I can actually do it with the. I think it's just about dry. You take the black or a blue, you can take now. I think the black works better on this one. You take the black, you mix a lot of water in it, and then you hit the hit the uh, sword a little bit.
All right. Where it kind of darkens it just a little bit, gives it a little. All right. Well, I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'll come back and then I'll show you the finished piece. All right. God bless now.